So the first question is this. You have an equation on the screen, right? Now let us try implementing these three steps and three rules to balance this equation within one minute of. Now, let me tell you one more thing. Let me guide you how to balance because this is the first practice question. Step one, my dear students, you have to count the number of atoms on both left and right hand side and understand if it is equal or unequal. If you have a coefficient, ensure that you use that to count the number of atoms. And if you are done with this, step two, start equalizing. Only use multiplication, don't use addition at all. And I know you're smart enough to understand that you can't use subtra subtraction and division. Well, once you start equalizing at the end, use the numbers you have used as multiplication to make a coefficient in the chemical equation. And if you have done that, there you go. You have got the balanced chemical equation. I don't have the answer right here. I'm not going to display the answer, but I'm going to unmute somebody from the question box. And that somebody is? Yeah, CH4 plus I added okay. two, 2 in front of O2, which okay. gives CH2 plus 2H2O. I added 2 mm -hmm. in front of H2O. So we have 1C in LHS and 1C in RHS and mm -hmm. H4 LHS and... Okay. 2 4H on RHS mm -hmm. as well and okay. uh, 4 O on the mm -hmm. L L L side and R RHS is CO2 2 plus 2 4. Mm -hmm. We have 4 O. So the uh, equation is balanced. The equation is balanced. Totally, we are having equal number of atoms on both the sides. That's great, Arunima.